Hey everybody, I wanted to do a six month review on the Sunlu S8 Pros that I've purchased. I have two of them and I am a noob. So I actually started 3D printing about just actually six months ago, a little over six months ago. Um, I received these just after the Black Friday sale and um, I've been printing with them ever since. Um, I'm gonna start off by telling you that I would I would probably only give them six out of 10. Um, I have no experience with any other 3D printers other than maybe the reviews I've watched on YouTube, but I'm gonna go into detail on why I would only give these six out of 10. Um, as far as I'm concerned, these are the cheapest, biggest build plate 3D printers you can buy. I think I paid 250 for them uh, each, and for, for that price, um, I could buy two of them for the one that I was looking at. So I, you know, I couldn't pass it up. And for that money, they're good printers. You know, you do get a large build volume. I can do helmets. I've done armor. Uh, they're great. They're great for that aspect. Um, if you're looking for something fast, they are not fast. If you want quality, um, you have to print slow. I, I've found that for my, my sweet spot on my printers is 20 to 25 milliseconds. So they're, they're slow. They're not, they're not, you know, pumping out bamboo lab feet, uh, you know, speeds. Um, and they're not as loud as some, but they are loud. You can hear them. So I have heard reviews and watched reviews on some that are just horrendously loud. I mean, they just they sound like a blower in your room. Um, these aren't as that loud, but I can hear them from inside my house and I'm in my garage. So, you know, there's that. Now, like I said before, I am a noob at this, so some of the issues I've been dealing with are probably noob issues, newbie, you know, issues that a, a veteran would have no issues or no problem with, you know, belts breaking or stretching out, um, roller wheels needing to be oiled, things like that, that improve the quality of your print that, you know, veterans would have known I didn't know because I'm a noob. Um, and there is a lot of little things you have to do to maintain these things and get them working right. Um... Sunlu does make a good printer. I mean, it, it's prints. It, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, if you want to save some money and you want to get a large build plate, build plate printer, this is a great printer. Um, you know, you take the chances that I did, that one out of two isn't going to be the best quality. Um, or you go out and you buy a, a better brand. Uh, you know, one that's known for being a good quality, prints faster, uh, and you pay 500 bucks versus 250 that's what you got, you know, you got to decide for yourself. But for me, if I were to do it again, um, I, because of how many times I've been down with one, down to one printer, I think I would have just spent the money and bought a, a bigger, better printer for 500 bucks. Um, that way I wasn't always, you know, if I'm going to be down one printer, at least it prints fast and prints quality. Um, that doesn't mean you won't have the same issues because they all have belts and they all have you know, hot ends and nozzles that will that will clog. Um, so, I mean, there's that. <laughs> now, even though I've had these only for six months um, and I did purchase two for the price of what I was looking for for one, I have to say I have been fiddling with this printer the most. It's been down the most. It's had the most issues out of the two. Um, and when it does work, it usually, I would say 50% of the time when it works, it's the best print of the two printers. And honestly, I've dialed this in. It's taken me months, but I've dialed it in to where these print phenomenally. I mean, for the quality, for the, for the cheap price they are, um, they print great when they want to print. Uh, this particular one likes to layer shift. So I'm constantly trying to work on why it's layer shifting, it, you know one day one literally one print it'll be it'll be perfect it'll look amazing and then the very next print two two minutes later and it's layer shifting so it's not the most uh reliable of the two and because i have two printers you know i can give you a, probably a good review 50 50 50 you know is your is your chances of getting a great one I'm not the only one. I've got a buddy that's got two Sunlu printers that loves them. He's been, he swore by them and that's why I, I bought the ones I bought because he said they were great and he's never had issues. This is actually my fourth attempt trying to print this particular helmet. Uh, I've had layer shift after layer shift with them. It hasn't been the greatest experience for me. It's not the helmet itself or the guy that designed the helmet. It's this printer. This printer 
literally printed one great piece and then turned around and printed garbage. And then did it, I mean, did it actually again. It, it actually printed a great, great piece, garbage, and then a great piece. And some of that has to do with belt tensioning, you know, oiling the, you know, the V rollers on this thing. But I don't have half the issues with this one. I mean, every once in a while, because of the filament I'm using, I get stringing, and that's more settings issues than anything. Um, and I'm using Sunlu's filament. So, you know, I have I've had great experience with Sunlu's filament, and I've had crappy experience with it. Uh, I had to upgrade to 0.8 nozzles because the filament I'm using from them right now clogs my 0.4 nozzles. So, there's that. Um, now that I've used 0.8s and I'm printing with 0.8, I can get great quality prints and sometimes in half the time. So I think I'm gonna you know, continue with using the 0.8 nozzles from this point on, just so I don't have to deal with as many clogging issues. Uh, last night, this printer actually, I, I wanna say exploded with filaments, but I think what it did is I think this base layer started peeling up and clogged the nozzle. This is what I was left with. A big old wad of filament that had actually clogged my nozzle. And luckily I had an, an extra part, but I replaced this because it was so covered with filament. I replaced the nozzle, replaced, I actually have purchased hot ends on, on Amazon. Um, they're like 40 bucks for three of them. And I found the Sunlu S8 Pros come with good, you know, hot ends in my opinion. Uh, the ones I purchased were smaller and they worked, but I don't think they were any better than what I had already had on here. So I'm using just the, basically the parts like these that are almost exactly identical and replacing whatever I need when I need to. Um, I have had to replace the Bowden tube. I've, I've already had to replace the temp sensors. I've upgraded to threaded temp sensors because the temp sensors kept having throwing errors. Um, that was actually one of the first issues I had with this particular printer was the temp sensors. Um, and it's been, it's been a fun adventure with this thing, for sure. Definitely learning experience. Setting up, it was great to set up. It was easy to set up. Um, as you can see, hello. As you can see, I actually added um, supports to keep it from shaking because it does get big. And when you get to the top, it, it gets kind of shaky. Uh, I have actually maxed it out and touched those with uh, some some armor that I've built in the past. Um, this Iron Man helmet actually will probably be done today. And you, as you can see, it's it's actually printing pretty good, except for one of the settings. You can see the infill. I've been trying to fix that I, with different settings. I keep getting the infill. It's something you fix in you know post process, but still, as you, some of the issues I was having with film with this particular filament that I'm using, I thought had to do with moisture. So I put it in the dryer, the sun the dryers to dry them. I don't believe it's actually moisture. I think it has something to do with either setting or extrusion settings. Um, but at, at first, I was originally thinking it was moisture. I did replace the hot end tips, and that did seem to help me. So. It clogged one of the first hot end tips right, almost right away. So that's Sunlu. I had their original, as you can see this one, this is what it comes with. The machine comes with a roller like that to feed down there. And I had one up there and I removed it to, do the, to use the uh, dryer. So that's why it's sitting like it is. I keep putting uh, empty rolls of filament underneath it to, to move it up. Um, there is a better way to do it and I'm probably going to, but at this point in time, I might just switch back to the original rollers I have for the for this printer. Now some of the issues I've had probably could have been solved by having these in enclosures. I haven't quite found the right enclosure. I purchased a grow tent and was going to flip it on its side and install these inside a grow tent and I have not done that yet. Um, but the dust and the dirt in the, in the garage, that does play a factor in some of the issues I've had and, and I will you know, account for that because that is something I've dealt with. Um, you know, it, things like the build plates, you, they have to be clean quite often if you don't do it. Um, Re-oiling and cleaning your, your roller wheels and your Z, your, your uh, Z rod, um, all of that stuff has to do with the grime and, and dirt that's in the garage. So a lot of that's on me, but on the same aspect, it's probably good maintenance to do anyway. 
something I wish I knew starting off on this whole process. The belts are actually, they come installed incorrectly in my opinion. Um, I, I'm, I've joined a few Facebook groups and they all explained it to me that the, some of the issues I was having with the original layer shifting had to do with the way the belts are installed from the factory. Um, do you see how the teeth are inter interlocking right there? They don't come that way. They come flipped where they have uh, the ability to slide loose. So the very first thing I would recommend doing if you get this printer is take those belts, flip them back around, and either re-zip tie them or buy the little clamps I bought. There's something you buy off Amazon, it's no big deal, pretty cheap. The Facebook groups are great. They have a lot of options. A lot of people are willing to help you with you know questions. A lot of people have modified these things heavily. There's are they good printers for, for beginners? Yeah, I would say it's a good learning experience. Um, I've learned how to do a lot of things with these printers. They have, you know, they've given me all sorts of headaches, especially this one. And honestly, it's been a great experience learning. Uh, and I'm glad I bought a larger build plate printer. I really am. Because if I would have purchased something that had, you know, a small build plate, I would be very limited on what I could do. I'd have to spend a lot more time gluing pieces together to make a full-size helmet or full-size armor. Uh, with these printers, I've been able to knock out large armor because I'm a big guy. So I've been able to knock out, you know, one one printer will print ha one half of the front chest plate and the other printer will print the other half of the chest plate. And then I'll just glue them together with a 3D pen. And I use that to kind of basically weld them together. And then I use a soldering gun to smooth out the weld. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll have the same issues. Uh, like I said, a buddy of mine that has two of these, he's got the original S8, S8s and I have these S8 Pros. Um, he swears by them. He says he loves them and, you know, he hasn't heavily modded his. He's like, I actually have done a lot more mods to mine, you know, to try to make them better than, than he even has. And, and he also uses a 0.8 nozzles. So, you know, um, I think user, user experience will also depend on your level of knowledge. So all in all, if you're not in a rush for your prints to be printed uh, and you don't mind waiting for these, you know, to print, because like I said, they're slow. Um, I have had them printing super fast. I've done that before. And the print quality is not good. Um, and you kind of make up for that with post-processing. You have a lot of sanding and a lot of Bondo and a lot of filler and a lot of time spent on that instead of just letting the printer go one more extra day and come out with a better quality print and have a quarter of the sanding processing time. So that's something else to keep in mind as well. Um, I do, I do like the printers. I mean, I, you know, there are times when I want to throw them across the garage because they've, especially this particular one, because it always fails on me. Um, and, and I have considered replacing them. So there are times where I love them and there's times where I hate them. This guy seems to be printing great. So I think my best advice would be join some Facebook groups, get on discord, join some 3d printing groups, especially if you're a noob. And when you have questions, you have issues, you know, ask them. A lot of those guys are great about responding. Um, Google issues. You know, there's a lot of people that have the same issues with the Creality, you know, and or threes. And, uh, you know, if you're using, like for me, I use uh, Cura for a slicing software. And Cura doesn't have a Sunlu pre-installed print, you know, printer option. So I have to actually use Creality's CR10 settings uh, and just modify the size of the build plate. And that works great for me. It's worked pretty well actually ever since I figured that out. Those are little things that joining a group you'll learn. Now there are days where I wish I have a Bamboo Lab printer. Um, they they would be wonderful to have for the small parts that I do, I do print. Um, there are, are printers like uh, Elegoo that make great large scale printers, larger than what I have. And I would love something like that. I could print a whole entire chess piece on that. I'd recommend checking out Frankly Built. He's a great builder. He's been doing this for a long time. Um, he has a lot of experience. He's got a Discord you could add, you could join. So definitely check out his YouTube page. He's got some reviews on a lot of different options of printers. I've never tried an Elegoo or a Creality printer. Um, so he's got those reviews up there if you want to check those out. Definitely makes me want to get one just based on some of his reviews. So. You know, take this for what it is. It, you know, it's it's a newbie's ex, you know experience with using Sunlu S8 Pros. You know, they're great beginner, you know, printers. They set up easy. 
You don't have to do the supports. I do that because some of the other people on the Facebook group have recommended it. Um, and I do think it did help my quality printer, but you don't have to, you know, you can just build it as is and print away. So I definitely recommend checking out more reviews and doing your research before you make your purchase. But if it comes down to cost, like it did for me, I'd rather, you know, I, w I still would rather buy two printers for 500 bucks total than one printer for 500 bucks. But for how often this one's been down, that's tough because I've been down to one printer quite often. And if that's the case, then I should have just purchased the one printer for 500 bucks. So I hope this review helps. It's probably hasn't, it's probably made you more confused. <laughs> But good luck with your search. If you have questions, uh, you're always welcome to hit me up.